The days of officers strictly walking the beat or responding from call to call in cars, well, they're long behind us. Tampa's unique landscape with waterways, wooded areas, inclement weather, and events with large crowds, officers routinely respond to not so routine situations. It, Recently, two yeah, Tampa police officers heard a pilot's it, uh, distress call, he but we they weren't in a patrol car. They were high above the landscape patrolling from the sky in a police helicopter. They witnessed the Cessna crash and arrived on scene within minutes, extinguishing the flames, pulling the pilot from the crash, and saving his life. We're, we're proud and, and we feel very accomplished that you know we were able to provide a service that normally isn't part of our duty. Um, part of our duty is usually assisting patrol, chasing bad guys, locating you know people that are missing and all that. We, we don't normally get to take the first responder action in a way that we did last night. But uh, I'm, I'm very proud to be part of this police department. I think we have one of the finest aviation units in the country. And uh, we have a lot of capabilities that last night shows that we never know when we're going to get called upon to use those. While the helicopter is used daily for routine patrol, it's just one of the many tools in TPD's transportation toolbox. We have to be able to respond to a myriad of issues and situations in a very, very rapid manner. And these tools and pieces of equipment allow us to do that. You know, Humvees for high water rescues, uh, bicycles, motorcycles, segways, you know, helicopter. We've got all of these different uh, modes of transportation that not only allow us to respond in a quick fashion to serve the community, but also allow us to interact with the community in a, in a much closer environment. You know, an officer on a bicycle, as opposed to inside of a car, can make those connections, those personal connections with the community. During the city's annual Gasparilla Pirate Fest, the bomb teams use the bobcats and segways to maneuver through the crowds and investigate suspicious packages quickly. On foot or in a patrol car, their response times would be delayed. And the Humvee came in handy during the summer's tropical storm. Officers were able to drive through flooded Bayshore Boulevard to check for stranded motorists, and they even reported back to other city departments about issues they were having. Whether it's horses, bikes, or tanks, patrolling on two wheels or four, Tampa police officers take these vehicles out for a spin to save lives. For Spotlight Tampa, Andrea Davis.